Hello, my name is Brian McDonough, and I am a junior business student at Fairmont State University, here to give a presentation on my job shadowing assignments for corporate communications with Professor Adriana Constable, Adriana Constable, excuse me, spoke a little fast, um, this semester, spring 2020. And my person of focus is none other than Amy Snively of the Accommodation Services in the Counseling Office in the Turley Center, room 316. And I should um, I should introduce her in this in this way too, that she is an alumna of Fairmont State University of the year 1997 the year I was born. <laughs> um, but anyhow, I chose her though because um, she's been uh, really nice to me and has been one of the, uh, one of my most valued uh, friends on campus. And so therefore I give you Amy Snively. This is our Falcon of Focus. Let's have this back in the focus. <laughs> so this is my slide right here. Apologize if uh, it's a little blurry. As I said, she is an alumna of uh, 1997. Uh, her husband actually works um, at the university as well as um, the uh, men's and women's uh, swimming coach, and uh, he's also the associate director of um, student athletics as well. Um, his office is in the uh, um, Feaster Center. Um, which is like around the bend uh, where the, um, <clears throat> what do they call it again? Uh, the uh, uh, University Terrace, yeah, uh, those buildings uh, where they are so around the bend. Um, and she, um, Amy though, she studied, um, uh, rehab she studied rehabilitation um, in um, a certain uh, concentration, as probably says on here, um, in uh, uh, student vocational rehabilitation, excuse me. So she, her job really focuses on um, making sure that students succeed, of course, as you know, I mean, that's what a lot of people do, but in a specific way. Uh, she's actually um, in accommodations, which means that uh, she's the avenue, the uh, person you talk to when uh, it seems like you maybe need uh, voice recording systems or anything like that to help uh, for students to better themselves in the class if they do find that they um, stagger in uh, one um, ability or another uh, during uh, class period time. So that's a little introduction to her there. This is my, uh, my other slide, if you can see it. Um, I do apologize if it's blurry once again. Um, so each each day during the semester, the counseling services, they hold meditation uh, days from Monday through Friday for students um, to go to, to clear their minds, you know, to begin their academic day or whatever uh, it may entail for them. And... Um, she and Amy is one of the people that uh, helps uh, set these times up, and of course, um, they do it. Uh, they do these meditations for when uh, students are around and they do come by. Again, the office is uh, room three one six in the Turley Center, and um, they're just really nice meditations. They're uh, um, there's like a audio set they have, and um, and Amy should she'll try to become. Uh, she, she really tries to be um, on the same level as the student, not necessarily seeing herself as staff and then student here. Uh, she, and she'll, she'll stay um, and meditate with uh, um, all the other students, and it's, it's, a, really, it's a really neat experience um, to be able to do that. And on top of that, uh, the meditation kind of ties in with uh, her, uh, with 
with her um, association with uh, Total, Total Wellness Tuesday. Sometimes you'll see her at the uh, display tables, uh, kind of um, going over information with people about uh, certain um, health habits and all that and how to, you know, um, break bad ones and keep good ones. Um, but then she is also the uh, campus advisor for the group Active Minds, which is a nationwide um, college-oriented group uh, across campuses, um, you know, outside of Fairmont State. And the focus there, too, is wellness, but also uh, uh, mindfulness and, um, and to promote a good state of mental well-being. Um, so, and those meetings are uh, really nice. She, uh, uh, she proctors most of those meetings, uh, which are held on Tuesdays in Woman Hall 307 at 12.30 in the afternoon, usually. Um, so there is that. My uh, <laughs> iPad went up. Hold on a sec. Let's see. And, um, and along with that, she is the, and she collaborates with the Autism Individualized Mentoring and Support Services Program uh, that Fairmont State offers for, uh, which is kind of another subdivision of her job to kind of oversee uh, student progression, um, who, um, students who may need more attention than others to see their um, academic inclination. Um, and I, uh, she did help to uh, score a grant too for um, this program and has, uh, um, is uh, a really good friend of, this, of Ames and uh, their mission as well on, on campus. Um, she is, um, she's one of those promoters uh, of seize the awkward, um, which is kind of like a phrase that I see in her office actually. And uh, um, I kind of, I kind of try to embrace that too, because I notice there are a lot of situations in my life that are just really awkward. And, you know, she, and just kind of being, you know, getting to know her a little bit, you know, you kind of, that, that, that tension of, oh no, things are going to be awkward, just kind of, it kind of mm, simmers down to nothing almost, you know, because it just seems like when you, uh, she gives a good presence of, you know, live in the moment, sort of, uh, so to speak, and I know that's, I don't want to sound like a broken record, I know a lot of people have, you know, heard um, kind of word pearls of wisdom like that uh, here and there in the uh, present, but she's a, she is a really a uh, good example of that, and she and she doesn't really take students as clients, but she tries to um, overcome. She tries to overcome the like the business barrier, if that makes sense, and making students feel like family to her, as well as vice versa. The student um, feels like family back, and by like you know trying to getting to know their name and everything and. Um, it just really, she knows how to put a personal touch uh, with um, her call to duty on Fairmont's campus um, as well. Um, and lastly here, um, just, or wait, I think uh, maybe I failed to show this. This is just a slide there, kind of, it's pretty neat. And then... Uh, have the uh, quotation here uh, from Harriet Tubman. Uh, let me just read it. Every great dream begins with a dreamer. Always remember, you have within you the strength, the patience, and the passion to reach for the stars to change the world. That is Harriet Tubman. I sure hope she gets on the $10 bill someday. But anyway, so yes, Amy Snively, really good person on campus. Uh, if you ever get the chance, say hi, or if she says hi to you, say hi back. <laughs> um, she's, uh, um, uh, and she's very, um, you know, relaxed in her conversations with people, too, which I think would really help a student out, especially during weeks or moments like finals week, <laughs> when you just really need someone to talk to. You know, she's always open um, to talking to people, and she especially loves working with students as well. Even though her agenda varies from day to day, there's 
nothing uh, greater to her than um, the work that she has found herself doing on, on campus to support her alma mater. So anyway, this uh, has been my uh, video uh, visual project of, uh, or part of uh, the uh, job shadowing uh, project assignment that I was uh, tasked with. And again, this has been uh, Brian McDonough, and uh, hope you enjoyed this little clip and that I wasn't too awkward, but even so, seize the awkward.